Hi, this is Steve Nissen. Welcome to your next edition of Highlights. I apologize for the delay between this edition and the prior one. Uh, I was so consumed with preparing my new two-day seminar that I just gave this weekend in New Jersey that pretty much everything else was put on the back burner. And I apologize. I know many of you couldn't get into the session since we sold out so quickly. So we're thinking of doing a repeat performance. We'll keep you posted on that. But one of the new topics I delved very deeply into the seminar for the very first time was a detailed analysis of uh, the psychology behind each of the candle patterns. And that's going to be the focus of this issue, is just to remind you that one of the major reasons that candles are so powerful is that they really let us understand the psychology or the shifting psychology between the bulls and the bears at the time the candlestick line or pattern um, emerges. There's a wonderful Japanese proverb, and this proverb just really relays something important about the market that, especially as we're trading shorter term, uh, intraday or swing trading, in other words, from a week or two, uh, the emotionalism of the market really becomes very important. A few years ago, there was an article in the New York Times about technical analysis, and they actually had a little bit about my work. but. Uh, in the article, I, I like the ending of it. Uh, it said, the chart is not just a record of a company's share price. It is a trace of human behavior. So what are we seeing when we uh, examine these charts? We're seeing images of ourselves. And that's uh, this is the core reason why technical analysis is such an important vehicle in any trading strategy, because it's the only way really to gauge the emotionalism that is the psychology of the market. Now here's part of a book I had translated, and uh, I'll just read it quickly uh, along with you. Combinations of bullish and bearish candle lines indicate the direction of the market, and this is important. And investors, but I would add the word traders, <laughs> psychological conflicts at important turning points. And this is what the candles do better than anything else. They let you gauge through the shape of the candle line or the pattern the supply-demand situation, who's winning the battle between the bulls and the bears. And we'll look at an example of that in a, in a minute or two. But just to remind you that as great as the candlestick signals are, never trade with candles alone, because doing so is a great way to get burnt <laughs> with the candles. Uh, in my sessions, my two-day sessions, or even my daily sessions, what I'll do, uh, my, my one-day sessions, what I'll do is I'll start off with making sure that uh, the audience understands completely how to recognize the candlestick signals um, in the correct way. Unfortunately, there's many, there's much misuse about candles uh, and recognizing the candlestick signals, but that's just one part of the picture. Then I spend either the second day, if it's a two-day seminar, or the second part of the first day on showing what to do with the candlestick signal. You know, it's great. It's, it's great if you can recognize a candlestick signal, especially if you recognize it, you know, correctly. But then, what do you do with it? And there are a lot of people out there just buying and selling, uh, or even testing on candles alone. And that is probably the most common and most dangerous ways to misuse candles. But the candles, when properly used, are, are really very powerful just for this reason. And one of my good friends, and many of you probably know Tony, um, she wrote, she uh, wrote me a nice uh, little testimonial here. By the way, uh, for those of you who trade short term, I highly recommend Tony's site at TonyTurner.com. Great lady, uh, very uh, very great, in, very good insights into uh, swing trading and the equity markets. But anyway, I like what Tony said here. Uh, it helps me gauge the mood and the manner of the market that helps me enter and manage my positions with precision and safety. And this is what the candles really shine at. And let me show you an example of what I mean by gauging the mood and the manner of the market. Now this chart is through yesterday, and let's go through, through a, a couple of things over here. First of all, here back in late January, this is the cash S&P. Notice this doji, small real body, uh, showing us the prior trend was running out of steam. and then there was a white candle that wrapped around the black real body. This is a classic bullish engulfing pattern, a white real body, uh, many, many times larger than the prior a small black real body. And this bullish engulfing pattern, let's look at the psychology of what's going on. And, you know, it's great if you remember the candle, the, the patterns, the names, but that's not that important. It's really recognizing what the uh, psychology of the market is relaying at the time the candle line is formed, or pattern is formed. So here we could see the power of the bulls 
have won over the power of the bears. Now look at these long lower bullish shadows. This is showing us that, as the Japanese would say, uh, the uh, it's an indication down here, the market's rejecting lower levels. The Japanese would say it's an indication of the power uh, to, of the market to sell is deficient. So each time the cash in S&P got near around 1255 on this session and this session, the market rejected lower levels. Now, let's go to more recent action here. Negative day, but we would not be selling here. Why? Because we were at an important juncture gauged by this bullish engulfing pattern and these dual lower shadows here. Uh, very long lower shadows. And not surprisingly, look what happened. The, the bulls wrested control of the market from the bears. Now, a couple of days ago, the market broke under the lows, but look what happened with the shadow. Okay, The market bounced back sharply, and I, with something like this, you could bet that the uh, confidence of the bears to keep the market down was eroding, and the bulls were getting a little bit more confident. And then yesterday, the very strong session, not surprising. I mean, a lot of it was fundamentally driven. You know, we can't ignore fundamentals. But the point is that even though there's a, a black real body here, we were getting an indication from months ago this would not be an area to sell based on what the psychology of the candle lines were showing us. The bulls have grabbed control of the market from the bears. The market rejected lower levels. And so the, the power of the candles, to completely understand the power of the candles, we really should understand the psychology behind each of the uh, of the candle lines, and this is just a, a little indication of how to read the psychology between the uh, demand supply situation by looking at the candle lines. So I hope you enjoyed this, and may the candles continue to light your path to greater profits.